everybody. How are you this evening? It's Dana Sullivan the Stampin' Chick here for a little bit of live crafting. Um, I've not done live much on YouTube and um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes for me this evening and if it goes well it'll be something that I do more often. Um, typically YouTube is a little more difficult to um, you know keep the weird comments and things like that out but we'll see how it goes and um, anyway so today I'm doing a project a few projects maybe I don't know for sure yet kind of flying off the seat of my cuff here and um, I'm doing something with the gingerbread and peppermint sweet that much I know and uh, this is case it Wednesday and so I thought that I would start off with doing my case it project uh, for this week but then maybe if things are going well we can continue to craft together so um, I don't know what y'all think about that and hopefully you're okay with it but anyway so the gingerbread and peppermint sweet is on page eight of the new mini catalog the holiday mini catalog July to December catalog however you know it and um, probably one of my absolute favorite sweets in the entire catalog I love the traditional Christmas and I love baking so uh, the gingerbread and peppermint sweet was just right up my alley and um, Anyway, it just happens that uh, the Memories and More card pack and the Cards and Envelope pack weren't available early in the month, but they did become available and I ordered them and I haven't torn into them yet. So I really want to do that because I want to really get a good look at the Memories and More pack. Um, I do intend on creating a class that will be a cookbook type class and um, it's actually going to use uh, the Memories and More album which is this one right here. Um, it'll have recipe pages, there will be room for pictures and uh, little journaling sections and things like that and um, you know Christmas is just the sweetest time of the year and it takes me back to so many beautiful memories um, and a lot of them are kind of wrapped around Christmas cookies and you know um, Christmas candies and things like that so uh, definitely Christmas baking is a big thing in our house and so I want to put together a Christmas album or a holiday uh, cookbook album per se um, to be able to do as a class to go with you. So uh, bearing all of that in mind I want to go ahead and and cut into my memories and more pack and check it out and see uh, all the pretty things that are in here. Memories and More packs are absolutely fabulous because there's so much in, in each one and you can do so many cool things with them. Whether it be uh, card making or gift tags or even gift packaging. So um, the Memories and More packs are just awesome. I absolutely love them. And uh, this one, I think, is really going to be great. So uh, first and foremost, we've got some cookie sheets, uh, die cuts, which is really cute. There's the black ones, which look like my cookie sheets, and then the uh, aluminum ones as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and then let me set these aside here, and we'll just go through the memories and more pack right quick. How's that? Okay, so we have uh, the cookie sheets. You've got three of each color, so that's nice. And then if you wanted to make them a different color, whatever, they're white on the back side, so that's cool. Um, we have memories in the making. And uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of each 
um, six pieces of each card, which is pretty cool. So that one's Memories in the Making, and it's got the nice little Christmas pom-pom tassels, whatever you want to call them there. Uh, happy Hall... Ha no, oh my goodness. Learn to read. Holiday Happenings. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that one's got a nice little red stripe on the back. Made with love. This would be really, really cute on a, a tin of cookies, wouldn't it? Four, five, and six. And that one's got a nice little stripe to it. And then it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. I love that. <laughs> Three, four, five, and six is a pattern. That's nice. I'm absolutely loving this so far it's just gorgeous okay i hope that you guys are loving it too two three four five and that christmas tree this would make a great uh journaling box or uh you could cut this out and make it a template to put a picture in here that'd be fun your sugar and spice and everything nice that's awesome two three four five and six okay so that's all of the little ones let me go ahead and move them out of the way for now because the big ones are going to take up a bit of room so let's get these cleared out i'm really excited about these i'm excited to get started on the uh, memory album because it's going to be so cool i can already tell Okay, here we go. This is nice. This would be good for um, a party dip recipe or a cheese ball recipe or something fun like that. Let's see how many big ones of each you get. Two, three, four. Oh, wow. You're going to get six of those as well. Awesome. And then it's got a really nice green printed pattern on the back side. Here are your stickers. Oh, my goodness so cute all right there's two of that one and two of this one so cute merriest christmas there's three there your friendship makes the season sweeter there's three there so you're gonna get six of each and then some cute little um buttons and oven mitts very very cute and these ones are silver and check out those snowflakes i don't know if you can see them very good but the snowflakes have silver foil embossing uh really fine details um gosh those are so cute and then these ones are nice i wonder how they layer together that would be so pretty okay wishing you a sweet christmas this is great for quick and simple cards so we have um let's set these stickers out of the way here all right and then that on the back side and then cookie recipe this is very cute i didn't even oh yeah i can see it in the catalog it's right there super super cute so there are six of these as well six recipe cards already and then it has this nice pattern on the back side so this is gonna make for a really fun uh christmas cookie album or holiday cooking uh whatever it is that you and your family do. Um, I do a Christmas cookie club every year, typically the Monday before Christmas. And um, so I'm thinking this will be a great album to put all of my cookie recipes and all of my friends' cookie recipes in. So that's gonna be exciting, I love that. All right, okay, well now that we've gone through um, the Memories and More pack. I'm really excited about it. I'm even more excited about it now than I was when I started this. So that's great. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Okay, let me set these off to the side. And now the Memories and More cards and envelopes. We've got these coordinating uh, pack of cards and envelopes. And these are going to make Christmas cards 
really quick and easy actually um, if you if you don't want to spend a whole lot of time or you just have tons and tons of Christmas cards that you send out every year the memories and more packs are really the way to go because you can put so many uh, cute cards out in such a short amount of time and the cost is really inexpensive which is great so um, and with the cost of postage in the US going up again you know <laughs> you can take save all the pennies where you can get them right okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just burnish this card down and I'm gonna try to line that up again a little bit better because that was kind of wonky there we go okay that's good and then here are the envelopes so really cute already pre-decorated which is really nice that makes it super easy all right so there's that and then I'm going to come into the catalog and see what can we case today uh, as a case it Wednesday project. And I think that maybe the wishing you a sweet Christmas is the way to go because that's using the card and envelope here. And um, let's see, we're going to use one of those cookie sheets. We'll use a couple of the stickers, and then where is that one card? Here it is. Wishing you a sweet Christmas. Okay, so you're going to be able to see how quick and easy it is to make a super cute uh, Christmas card. And I'm going to need that other set of stickers, too, because we're going to use... The little green circles there um, all right so the first thing that I need to do here now that I have selected my case it project is that I need to fussy cut this star out it's gonna be really simple it's not that hard but what I do want is to try to preserve as much of this extra space here as I can because of course I'm going to try to use that for something else later. So I'm just going to come in at the most narrow point I think. And uh, we're just going to cut around the edge of the star. I'm cutting slightly inside of it because I don't want any of that pattern paper to show. So I want to make sure it's all totally gone. And I'm sure that you already know this, but when you're fussy cutting things, if you turn the paper and not your scissors as much, you'll get a cleaner and steadier line than if you try to keep manipulating your scissors. So that's just a quick little tip for you. Here we go. Thank you so much for your patience watching me fussy cut this thing. It really isn't that bad, but, you know, normally I have this stuff already pre-cut so that we don't have to watch me fussy cut. All right, now I'm going to be really careful going around the bottom of that S. Just want to make sure that I'm not leaving any of that designer series paper residue behind. I want it to totally be gone. I may have to touch up just right there. Okay, keep it going. Almost finished. This card's going to come together super, super quick, too. So there's that. That's always nice. Just trying to make sure. Um, Catherine says, are the cookie racks printed on acetate? You know, Catherine, they're actually not. Um, it's kind of a glossy paper on one side, but it is paper. Um, it's not acetate, but acetate would have been good. Um, that actually would have been great. Or even a foil. It may be... Let me see the aluminum one. Yeah, the aluminum one's probably silver foil paper. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually has a, a shiny metallic look to it. 
The black one, I'm not sure that that's the shiny black paper, glossy black paper, but um, it's definitely not like metallic. So, um, yeah, it, it, it actually is a really nice um, laser cut paper. I love when they do their laser cut die cuts. Um, you're right, they're very, very nice. I see what you were saying about being printed on acetate. Um, no, it's definitely not printed on acetate. The holes are there and everything. Um, yeah, that's that's a really cool, really cool thing about the Memories and More packs. Their their die cuts are actually really nice. Okay, I see another little spot there. I'm getting towards the end and I'm getting excited, so I'm kind of leaving a little edge. I'm going to straighten that up just a tiny bit because I think it's going to show when I get to um, when I get to layering this on. So I'm just going to clean this up a tiny, tiny bit right here. And then I'm going to clean up just a tiny bit right here at the S. I didn't want to take off too much. Remember, you can always take off more again, but you can't put something back. So better to cut it a little bit wide than to cut it too short, I think. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, now the card is going to go together really, really quickly, right? All right, so we have our card base here. And let me set that out of the way. And then here's our little cookie sheet. It's going to go down like this. This piece is going to go over like this. Uh, we can go ahead and put the oven mitt and the, um, maybe the spatula needs to wait. Probably the oven mitt does too. But I need to put a couple of the little circles behind there. So maybe I'll just go ahead and do those first. Whoop, here we go. And sometimes you get excited about peeling stickers and peel the backing too. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's put one of them right there. Yes, and then the other one is going to go right here. All right, and actually, kind of think I want that. Well, maybe that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to use a little liquid glue and uh, the outer edges of the this die cut are are fairly wide so as long as you've not got a super heavy hand you ought to be able to just run a little bead of liquid glue around turn my paper here so I can get it on this side here we go I'm really not squeezing very hard on my glue at all. And then I'm going to run just a little thin bit on the two wider sections down the middle. Just so it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, and then we'll put this right here. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to put this one up here, just like on the picture. And then I can put my spatula and pot holder. These are so cute. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Let me see if those will come off with my finger. Sometimes when you have these little fine details, you can stick them, stick them down to something and the little pieces will come off, but not this time. They are attached. So let me just take them off this way with my handy dandy take your pick tool. There we go. All right. Now this one's going to go right about here. This one's going to go right about here. 
those little detail pieces are going to go in the garbage if I can get them off my finger. The sticker adhesive works really, really well, my friends. <laughs> All right, and then we need dimensionals for our cookie. So let me put some dimensionals on here. Peeling off our backing. Certainly, you could do uh, cut these cookies out um, while you're watching TV or whatever. Or for that matter, you know the um, the coordinating frosted gingerbread bundle and the designer series paper has uh, these cookies. They're not quite the same. Uh oh, not quite the same as this, but. Um, but they're really cute and and look like cookies. Um, make sure I'm still on the cookie here. Let me remove my sticker just a little bit this way. Um, you could kind of modify this card design is what I'm getting at that you could do with the um, with the stamp and die bundle and the designer series paper. So there we go. There's our card. Quick, simple, easy. And uh, if I wanted to use the designer series paper, let me grab those and I can show you kind of uh, put the glue on here so I don't clog up my end there. So the designer series paper is beautiful and it coordinates perfectly, of course, with the uh, Memories and More pack. But you can see these cookies here, there's several different designs. Certainly you could uh, cut these out and then put them in place of wishing you a sweet Christmas. So if you wanted to do a similar design, um, you really could. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna grab my stamp and die bundle here right quick. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can somewhat replicate. Now, I'm not gonna want to replicate the cookie sheet because that's a laser cut and there's only a handful of them. And um, the little die cut pieces here, I couldn't do. However, we have also um, the What's Cooking stamp and die bundle from the annual catalog. So maybe we could do like the spatula and the rolling pin or the spatula and the spoon and give it a similar feel. So let's see how we can manage. And maybe instead of the cookie sheet, maybe I want to put a little piece of designer series paper or something. So let's see how we do here. Mind you, this is totally fly by the seat of my pants. I wasn't expecting to do this part of things. So, you know, if I take a minute, bear with me. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to set the memories and more pack aside and see if I can recreate a semblance of this using the, um, I'll still use the card and envelope, but I'll use the stamp and die bundle and the designer series paper. And let's see if we can get something relative um, that's pretty. Okay, so let's do... Ooh, that's cute. I like that. All right. I want to do that. I think if I'm lucky, I've got some pre... Well, it's a brown one. That actually might work. Let's see here. I've been playing with the bundle, and it's so cute. So, all right. We've got a cookie. And I think I'll use some of these little candy discs. These are from the designer series paper. There we go. That one's nice. Kind of matches that one. All right. So we've got a few. Whoop. There we go. Okay. 
got a few little candies here we can use. So I like that idea. That was actually cut from designer series paper as well. Can I find, uh, you can see here the little candies and the little, little pieces there. So that's where that came from. All right. So I've got those and, um, you know, with the stamps and dies, you could actually do some embossing, which would be nice. Uh, we have the craft cardstock that Stampin' Up! brought out with the uh, product suite. So if you wanted to, um, be very cute actually, to um, emboss in white on the cardstock and then ink it up just a little bit with some soft suede or even early espresso ink and that would give you a nice look like this as well and then of course you could make even more long after you've used up your designer series paper so in that regard you know you could make a whole bunch more and I love that there are all these little circles that you can use to die cut the candies and then other things as well you know, we've gone completely away from having um, circle punches, which I'm super sad about. <laughs> and we have the layering circles dies, and that's pretty much it. So it was really nice to see the little smaller circular dies as well. And then this uh, lacy icing border is going to be so cute for all kinds of things. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's get to work here. Maybe... Maybe if we're going to use the candies, maybe we need to use something a little more subtle. So let's look and see. Ooh, that's a little bright. Maybe let's look and see what else we can find here. Okay, we don't really want it to be too much. I'd really like to save the... Um, the papers that have maybe this one the papers that have the uh, the big cookies I'd kind of like to save those to be able to die cut you know for later um, that would be cute what do you think and look at the little ones too I mean ah, so cute the paper is beautiful this entire product suite is just absolutely gorgeous Honestly, I like this one. I think it's not quite as busy. Well, never mind. Oof. Oof. Maybe that won't work. Let's keep trying here. That's smaller. Would that still be okay with the bigger pieces? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That one's not bad. Yes, I talk to myself this way even when I'm not live because I need good advice now and then. <laughs> All right, what about the green one? The green one wouldn't be bad with the icing. Kind of like the little uh like the little small candies better, I think. Okay, we're going to stick with the little small candies. Alrighty then, we've got little polka dots. Oh, I'm sorry, I just saw somebody say something. Um, oh, Catherine says she always talks to herself. Yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, Melissa, how are you, darling? Oh. How do you say your name? Eneki? I'm going to butcher that awful. I'm so sorry. From the Netherlands. That is so cool. What about the polka dots? That one's really cute. Please, please put a pronunciation of your name in here. I would love to be able to say it properly. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. I'm sure I did. Okay. My name is Dana, and it's spelled D-A-N-A, -A, and it's so basic four-letter word, but I get called all sorts of things, so it's, it's funny. All right, what do we think here? We've got this piece, or I like this one maybe, this piece. I like this one. What do you think, guys? Oh. 
Yes, I understand the whole senior year thing. Um, yes, Little Miss is senior this year, too. And the last one at, at that. And I'm telling you, when the first one graduated high school, it was... It was, you know, exciting, and it was sad we were going to miss her and everything, but we still had the younger ones. And now, with the baby graduating, it's a whole different ball game. you know? <laughs> it's sad and surreal and... <laughs> uh, Inaka. Okay, gotcha. Inaka. Very cool. All right, well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Okay, so I want this piece to be about the same size as the cookie sheet. So I'm just going to give a basic measurement uh, four, is that four inches? Let's do three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. That sounds good. I like that. Okay. And I'll bring in my trimmer here. So because this is six by six and I really like to save paper, I'm going to cut the two and seven eighths inch piece first. That way it leaves more uh, right here. So, okay. And then three and seven eighths will go there. All right. So now that we have that layer cut, and we can put that here. And you know what else would be really great? The stitched rectangles. Let me see. Let me see how that works out. Do we have one relatively the same size? That's the question. Now it's going to be a little long and too narrow. Okay, we're not going to do that then. All right, no problemo. Okay, I like this. Let's do, um, you know what? Let's not adhere it down because that's a mistake I will make. <laughs> Let's put this on dimensionals for sure because we know that's going to happen. So you folks are getting to see uh, the behind the scenes, so to speak. This is how the Stampin' Chick comes up with her projects talk to herself, argue with herself, debate, discuss, win. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I think that because this one is so big and these ones are so small, I think it should have a second one on here. What do you think? Oh, I'm so glad that you bought the uh, Memories and More set. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I am in love with it. Okay, so let me grab um, maybe the snowflake. What do you think? Oh, red for a pop of color. That's a great idea. Maybe this one. Well, I don't want to do the same design. Let me see here. Hold on. Okay, we've got... Um, let me get these out of the way. and Let's see what we've got going on. So we have these... And these. And I know there's at least one more set. There's Christmas trees. Christmas trees would be good. Um, oh, here's snowflakes with green on them. That would be nice. Or red. Yeah, let's try that and see how that works. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set these out of the way, grab this one back up here. Thank you all so much for being with me this evening. It's always fun to craft with other people, and even if we're not exactly in the same place, and even if we're not in the same time zone, <laughs> it's nice to be able to visit and craft. All right, let me set that off to the side, and I'm going to bring in my machine and I have been wearing out my plates so please excuse that they're going to be a little jumpy and uh, <laughs> out of sorts they're all bent up because I have been busy busy crafting kits and classes and uh, 
and projects for the upcoming holidays. So I've been doing a lot and I haven't got a new set of plates in yet. So we're going to work with them best we can. Okay. Here we go. All right. And my washi tape sticks really, really good. So I'm going to be very careful here. There we are. There's one. And let me do a green one just in case. We can see them side by side. But Melissa, I think you're right. I think it's going to be... I think the red is going to be beautiful. All right, here we go. I'm going to slide all over the place because I'm trying to go through it quickly. Okay, let's move that. I love the paper. I love that it can be die cut. That's one of my favorite things when when a paper coordinates with a stamp and die bundle so well that it can be die cut. So cool. All right. Now I'm sure that you noticed there's the uh, finely detailed, the filigree layers, and then there's the outline layers. So make sure when you're cutting out the designer series paper, uh, that you're actually using the outline and not just the filigree. That being said, as we were talking about uh, stamping and embossing in white on the craft paper, certainly another way that you could do it, and let's try that out too, just because we're talking about it. We could die cut the outline piece from the craft paper and I would do the embossing too to show you that maybe I will here in a minute but it's kind of loud my space is small and so it really reverberates the sound and makes it really loud <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut out that piece and then I'll grab some white cardstock and we'll do the um, the icing as well. Okay. Listen, Mister, quit chewing on my chair. I don't know how many of you have seen the pictures of my little Stampin' Hound, my daughter's uh, terrier pup, but he's kind of being a pest, and he's right under the table chewing on the legs of my chair. So. Yes, teething and very cute, uh, but also kind of a little brat. Um, <laughs> if you've had pups, you understand. They are so cute, so much fun, but they absolutely are like a little toddler. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run this through. And because it's a fine detail, I'm going to run it through a couple of times. This is not necessarily something that you have to do. Maybe this is more of an OCD thing for me, but whenever it's a fine detail, I really try to make sure uh, that I run it through a few times because I don't want to have any issues with it cutting out, right? Okay, now we have our layers and they look super cute get my trimmer out of the way and throw these scraps in the garbage before they get everywhere. How many of you clean up as you go and how many of you wait until you're done and how many of you just leave it? <laughs> how are you with your crafting mess? Are you good? Are you tidy? I've got to know. All right, let me put this away. <laughs> That's just me being nosy. All right, clean up my die. If you don't have the take your pick tool, a little brush on the end, uh, the best tools ever. You need them in your, in your toolkit for sure. Okay, I'm gonna put these away so I don't lose them. That would be my next problem. Uh, Catherine crafts in absolute chaos. <laughs> you know what, that's great. That is absolutely wonderful. I 
am the exact opposite. I have to have everything neat and tidy and organized and um, yeah, I have to be able to find it and uh, you know, I need to clean up after I'm done as most of my desk is taken up by my computer and lots of product. Yes, that's a good reason to clean. I have a reasonable sized table for my craft table uh, and my computer is on a desk by itself so I don't have to worry about that but I um, I kind of get distracted easily and <laughs> if there's a lot of stuff on the table I'm in trouble I can't focus on what I'm doing so you know sometimes if I stumble over my words it's because I'm starting to create a mess and you know it's getting harder to focus on what I'm doing so all right there we go oh and you know what just as soon as i glued it on there i remembered that i wanted to uh ink up the edges with a sponge dauber so i'm going to see if i can do that without making too much of a mess with it i'm going to use not early espresso let's go with soft suede maybe we'll use espresso start with the lighter first and work your way down to the darker so I'll grab the espresso just in case, but let's see. This would be a lot easier to do without the white on there. So pretend like I didn't just do that. <laughs> because then I could have used a blending brush and really softened it up all the way around. That's okay. There are no mistakes in paper crafting, only room for embellishment. <laughs> I tell my girls that all the time. No worries, no worries. Okay. This is a great way to, um, to really get the most out of this product suite. Use up the designer series paper and maybe you do a combination, you know, you do one die cut DSP piece and one uh, that you've made from the stamps and dies themselves and then just kind of work on them together. And I'm going to see if maybe get this back here. Let's see if maybe I've got it light enough that I can easily go. Eh, not too much, but that's okay. That one, I definitely got a little darker, but that's all right too. Okay, now another thing that would be really cool to do with this is to use some Wink of Stella and give it some sparkle. And I'm not going to put any of the early espresso. I think probably the early espresso would be good if you were trying to get it as dark as the edges. But since I already put it on there, I can't do that. So let me just do this instead. And we'll just add a little sparkle. Right there. Okay. There we go. I love that one thing about the Wink of Stella, when you color it over ink, it will, um, it will blend out and smooth your ink, which is really nice. There we go. Now I would definitely put this piece on um, on a card that had some brighter layers to it, for sure. So you may see it on something else, but probably not the card tonight. There we go. All right, I'm gonna set that aside to dry because Wink of Stella will smear. So I'll set that there and we're gonna come back to this. We have um, we've got our polka dot layer. Let me get this out of the way and bring our card in. There we go. 
Okay. We have our polka dot layer. We have cookies. Let me see if maybe there and there. Cute. For that matter, I mean, if we want to go totally different, we could go there too. But let's try to keep it relatively the same. Okay. Maybe here. Maybe we don't even need the second cookie. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then... Hmm. Do you have the What's Cooking, the Stamp and Die bundle? You've got a spatula here that's pretty neat. All right, so let me see if I've got some foil here. It's probably going to be contraband. Um, I do have some contraband. Okay, silver foil, <laughs> and I actually want, uh, let's see, if I can line it up here, I need a background, I can either do, I think I'll just do this, and that way I'm salvaging, because I can fit that there, and then I'll do a whole piece in the early espresso, how's that? Good idea, okay, all right, let me, uh, set this over here on my back work table and cut that out. It does help to have a little counter back here now and then. <laughs> if I can keep it from jumping though, that's the next thing. Alright, putting down the uh, putting down the washi tape again bouncing around on me and I don't want it to do that especially in such tight quarters that would not be good would it okay there's that super cute look at that fabulous okay and then I need an early espresso for the handle so let me see if I've got a scrap of that here. Yes. All right, working on that. Oh goodness, tough guy. All right. This die set is really, really cute. Oh, you need the what's cooking. Yeah, it's very cute. The tools are actually bigger than they seem to be. Um, I mean, you can tell that's that's quite a bit bigger than it looks on the on the package. So, you know, it's nice. All right, let's see here. How about, um, what do you think about a spoon, a whisk, or a spatula? What do you think? While you're talking about that or thinking about that, I will put this together. Oh, my handle's a little longer. All right. Come here, friend. Hold on just a second, folks. We've got a technical issue with the pooch. <laughs> here, Pops. <laughs> Pops is trying to take him outside to go potty, and he's trying to hide under my feet so he doesn't have to go out. <laughs> All right. He is super cute, but he is a pet. Oh my, he is a pest. Okay, now I will tell you what I did. I um, 
I didn't put enough handle for the silver part, so I'm having to redo that right quick. Um, so just give me one second here. There we are. Okay, there we go. Now, I want to snip it right about where it starts to get big. And then a little liquid glue. There we go. What time is it in the Netherlands right now? I'm curious. I'm so excited that you're here. It so, just amazes me how people can be from all over the world and like you're in my craft studio. It's awesome. All right, there we go. Yay! Oh, that's cute. So it looks a little bit different than the other one, obviously. It's a little bit longer, but pretty much the same, right? Oh my word, it's 1.30 in the morning. Girl, what are you doing up? <laughs> That's past my bedtime. I'm like Cinderella's coach. I turn into a pumpkin after midnight. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I like that. And um, you know what? Let's put, let's put some of these things. And we can change it up just a tiny bit. And I want to move this a little more this way to kind of fill in that little bit more of a gap that there is there right because that's that's quite a bit more of a gap than what this one has okay so i think that and if i can get them get our little pieces here there we go how about right here okay and put that one underneath it just like the other one did that was kind of cool okay there we go all right and we definitely need a sentiment so maybe what we'll do is one across here instead and we can use Oh, you're getting neural surgery in November. Oh my. I hope everything goes well for you. Surgery can be really scary. All right, I like that. Set that aside. How do we feel about that so far? I think I need I think I need one more tinsel or something here um, let's do did we decide on the rubber spatula or the spoon or the whisk did I miss it let me see um, no okay ladies let me know are we doing a whisk are we doing a spoon or are we doing a rubber spatula what do you think Whisk, spoon, or rubber spatula? While you're letting me know, I'm going to clean up this little spot right here. Okay. Oh, the spatula. Yes. Good call, Catherine. Okay. Now I'm going to want to do... I think a little not let's see maybe this okay my rubber spatulas have the top of them a different color than the handle 
let me just run that through. Okay, and then how about we do the handle the same color? That way they look like a set. How's that? All right, now this time I learned from my my mistake the first time. Oh, have a good one, Melissa. Thanks so much for coming. Okay, so this time I learned from my mistake. I went ahead and cut both of them the same. That way I can just cut the one where I need it and layer it over the top and not be short, right? <laughs> and then, of course, I could use this. And trim it up just a little bit. There we go. Now my spatula is nice. Okay. There we go. Super cute. All right. Now, how about you're the icing to my gingerbread? Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> I think that we should do it in either the red or the green. And let me grab... Let me grab a stamp, and this one's a little bit bigger, so let's see how it will work. You know what? It would work with early espresso as well. What do you think? And look at that. Perfectly sized. Okay. Of course, you all know when you're using photopolymer stamps, you want to make sure that you're using that pierce mat. So we'll bring that back out and I'll set that little cookie aside. There we go. All right, what do you think? Early espresso, real red, or what is that? Garden green, old olive. What do you think? Let me grab. Real red, old olive. Ah, real red. Yes, good call. I love this. It's so handy to have you folks here. <laughs> I appreciate you helping me put my card together. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to leave a little bit of room. Hey, Miss Luann, how are you? I'm going to leave a little bit of room on either side because I haven't quite decided yet how I want to finish this off. If I want to cut it at an angle, if I want to keep it square, or whatever. So, there we go. Oh, good call. Yes. Luann, this is not part of an upcoming class, but the products are... I've been telling the girls that I'm I'm going to be doing a gingerbread and peppermint sweet um, cookbook. And, uh, you know, I'll be doing a couple of other classes with this because it's just so much fun. But the cookbook is going to be a lot of fun. And we'll be using the Frosted Gingerbread Bundle and the What's Cooking. Um, and we'll be utilizing the Memories and More pack, which is awesome. All right, now I have, what stamp set is it that has the cool labels? I believe Christmas season, oh yes. Yes, is this too big or will it fit? Eesh. Nope. 
it's going to cut it off. Okay, well that's not going to work then. We don't want to do that. Okay. I've been doing some uh, projects lately, and these are some of my go-to labels. Uh, the Tasteful Labels dies, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and the Hippo and Friends. And uh, so I just happen to have them all down here, and I don't think any of them are going to work. So uh, what we're probably going to do is just cut the corners and maybe I will cut it straight here and then dovetail it here. What do you think? All right, so if I've got three and a quarter inches there, that's pretty good. Um, you know what? The pick a punch would be a good idea. I'll have to trim down the paper. I think I might be able to get it. Let's see. It's right about an inch, isn't it? So I want it to be just the hair shy. Cut it just a hair shy, and then it fits in that track, right? Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's start tacking some things down here. Remember how it goes. I might forget. <laughs> Let me put this one down because I know that one can go and doesn't have to be put up anywhere. There we go. Okay. And that one. And this one. Sometimes when I lay it out and then pull it off to glue it, I end up reorganizing to a different way. Do any of you ever do that? All right. Since I've got my liquid glue here, I'm just going to use it for this piece. Normally I might use my Stampin' Seal, but this is fine. All right. Oh, no. Ugh. Don't slide it, and then I remember why I don't use liquid glue. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's try that one more time without the sliding. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. We're good. And now... Let's see, we might want that on dimension. We definitely want that on dimension. We probably want that on dimension as well. And uh, let's see here. Now listen, friend, quit bowing the wrong direction. There you go. There we go. Okay. Maybe go off the edge of that a little bit. What do you think? Like that. And then put that there and then put this up here. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? Okay. Dimensionals. Here we go. Now, 
it's kind of late. I don't normally do. Well, I don't normally do a YouTube live anyways. I know that you folks know what I'm talking about. You've been in live streams before or you've gone and, and watched a replay or something and some weird unsavory folks have come in and <laughs> and posted some kind of weird comment or something, you know. <laughs> I don't like that kind of thing to happen. I don't want any of my viewers to have to be subjected to that kind of crazy stuff but you know I thought maybe I could come on here this evening and it would be okay so I hope that there's not been any weird comments if there have please let me know because I'm not seeing them but um, of course I'll go back and take a look and see I think I can delete them later typically I do my Facebook live um, over on the Stampin' Chick Dana Sullivan on Facebook on Monday evenings so I like to do that and I can control that a little bit better. Um, uh, <laughs> Lou Ann, just you. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> what time is it anyways? It's getting late, isn't it? My stampin' studio doesn't have a window in it. So even if it wasn't very late, it would feel late because um, there's no windows to tell me how dark it is. All right, let's do maybe, hold on, friend, hold on. I didn't say yet. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, maybe like that. How's that? That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right, and then this one. Oh, it's 7.45 in Ontario, huh? What time zone are you, Miss Catherine? Is that Central Time? No, wait. That's going to be like Pacific Time, isn't it? I'm going to tell you I feel like I'm failing geography at this point. Oh, you're on Eastern Time. Okay, well then it's not late. We're on Eastern Time also. It just feels late. Well, I will tell you, uh, you know, this puppy is, how old is he now? 13, 14 weeks old, something like that. And, uh, well, maybe he's almost four months. Anyway, he's, uh, he's still very much a puppy. And he wears me out. <laughs> he wears me out. He is the cutest little thing, but oh my goodness, he wears me down. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's because I'm older, if it's because he's more wily or, or what, but man, oh man, he wears me out. But we both sleep good at the end of the day, so I guess that's the good thing. <sighs> All right, I think I want that. Oh, 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 hold on. Go down a little farther there, friend. There you go. Okay. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. It's a little bit different designing on a live stream. I I'll tell you that. Um, it's not something that I typ typically do. The, the control in me wouldn't allow normally for me to go so willy-nilly like that <laughs> but um but i started playing with this and it was just a lot of fun and i thought yeah that's a great idea okay now i will tell you i have some little bling bling but i don't think it needs that um let me see here i've got some rhinestones the holiday ones always look cute Actually, the holiday ones would be cute. Or even the clear ones. Nah, I think the holiday ones would be good. Do we even need any at all, honestly? I mean, the one in the catalog didn't have any. So, if I were casing the project, then I'd say we were about done, wouldn't you? Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put any on there. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, well, that's been a lot of fun. I have a massive mess over here now, and uh, <laughs> I've got a, a cutting plate on the floor because it slid off of my 
off of my machine and you know all kinds of fun chaotic things here so this is nice <laughs> now you know i always say no naked insides and no naked envelopes so i'll be quite on quite honest with you um the envelopes are really nice as they are but if you wanted to decorate the envelopes themselves maybe um you know you could put one of the little die cut um cookies on there that'd be super cute and uh you know that'd be a lot of fun but if you do something like this you want to make sure that you use liquid glue and that you glue as close to the edges as possible that way it doesn't get caught up in the meters uh, when it goes through the postal system because they would not like that um, or you could just stamp one on in uh, you know a green or red or whatever but I think on that craft paper um, it would probably look really muted unless you embossed it so um, you can emboss it if you want to and that would be a great idea but I think since I've got this one right here and since it kind of matches my my card I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this one on there we go and I'm not trying to get too much glue I got a little heavy-handed in that spot let me spread it down here a bit but I do want to get it close to the edge because I want to make sure it's tacked down real good so there we go all right and I think that is a good spot there we go now it's sealed down really well it's not going anywhere and i think that's a perfect embellishment for these envelopes and then for the inside it's a white card so you could certainly stamp your you could certainly stamp your your um, piece in there so let's do do we want to do the uh snowflake or do we want to do the ornament maybe the snowflake since that's what we did on the envelope okay and how about in the old olive this time all right grab old olive tap 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 not smush 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 <laughs> Let me grab my scrap here because I don't think I want to stamp the whole thing. I think I want it to go off, off the edges a little bit. How about like that? There we go. Okay, so we've got that done, and then on the inside of this one, we could certainly do the same thing. Um, wishing you a sweet Christmas. How about... Whoops, listen, don't go anywhere, little guys. How about we do... These little little candy thingies here and we can do them in red These are so cute. I really like them. Okay. All right, friends. I think that'll do us for the night, don't you? Just a couple of cards uh, from the uh, Gingerbread and Peppermint Memories and More 
card pack and the DSP and um, stamp sentiment. So, all right. All right, Miss Catherine, have a wonderful dinner. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this evening. I appreciate it. Thank you all, everyone, so very much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate you, and I uh, appreciate you interacting with me. It's been so much fun. I like sitting and visiting and crafting, so it's really nice. And maybe I can do another one next time where we just sit and craft and no intent or purpose whatsoever just to hang out and have a good time crafting what do you think all right guys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the projects and uh, be sure to check out my website my blog uh, you can use hashtag the stampin chick to find me on most social medias and uh, until next time my friends i hope you have a wonderful evening bye for now